Now this is what I call a great day in the office. Dynan recently called me and said, hey, do you want to drive our latest car? And after driving the BMW M4, how could I say no? This is the all new Dynan tuned BMW M550i. And with 606 horsepower and 635 pound feet of torque, this is gonna be a great day in the office. Let's hit the road and experience the Dynan difference. Okay, so we are sitting inside the BMW M550i tuned by Dynan. Sorry, kind of a long title, but that's what it is. Um, and I wanted to talk about something that is part of the M550i experience. Now, when you get in this car, being an upper level BMW 5 series, it has a lot of options, a lot of buttons, a lot of things to play with. Like for example, the seats are infamously like 85 million way adjustable, uh, but there's more than that. It's more than just the interior niceties of which there are many. Like for example, nice padded leather, nice dash, nice and steering wheel, nice seats. But yes, there are a lot of buttons and things to play with. For example, this car has many drive modes. Um, you look down here and move the camera down. Look down here, there are several drive modes. Eco Pro, Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, Sport Individual. There's many, many settings. And the car is beeping at me, even though we're stationary. Um, but yes, the car has a lot of settings and my general preference is to obviously make it as sporty as possible. So I have the drive mode set in Sport. And then there, if you go into Sport, there's three modes. There's Standard Sport, Sport Plus, and Sport Individual where you pick your own settings kind of overkill but we are in sport plus and to make things even more sporty if that's even possible i have the drive selector in sport mode that is different than the manual mode which allows you to use the paddle shifters if you leave it in sport the transmission will shift for itself but do so in a much more sporty fashion is that enough sport for you let's find out all right so that's actually kind of a cool thing about this car. This, as you take off from a stop, the seatbelt's pretty tension. They kind of like lock in place. It's like a Germanic bear hug. But yes, uh, in Sport, the chassis in Sport Plus, I have the DSC off because I like to live dangerously and I have the transmission in Sport mode. So it's actually upshifting for me right now. But the gauge cluster is in red. Let me know I'm doing sporty things. So let's see if we can actually do sporty things with this car. And for that, I'm actually gonna put it in manual mode and take full control myself. Manual mode, second gear. Ooh, let the exhaust start to sing a little bit. Good Lord, I'm not gonna say how fast I'm going, but it is pretty fast. And that Prius is also driving quite dangerously. Woohoo! Oh my God, this thing is really quick. second gear come through this nice tight one throttle down man this thing is so hooked up despite having 606 horsepower and 635 pound-feet of torque from a twin turbocharged 4.4 liter v8 tuned by dynan this thing is seriously dead hooked up now it's flat out in second gear coming out of a corner and it just sticks and goes now part of that is because this car has xDrive, which is BMW's all-wheel drive system. So this is technically a BMW M550 xDrive Dynan S1. Now that's quite the mouthful. But the package seems to work. BMW's xDrive is obviously not the most robust all-wheel drive system, but for the road, it seems to work pretty well. And working in tandem with that X-Drive putting the power down is the fact that Dynan has worked with forge line wheels to give this thing some big footprint on the ground. It's running some massive forge line wheels. I believe they're 20 by nine and a half in the front and 20 by 10 in the back. And as a result, this thing is running some massive sticky rubber from Michelin. These are the new Pilot Sport, Pilot 4S tires. Again, kind of a long title, but I guess that's the way they're doing things nowadays. This is Michelin's new sporty summer tire. And on this car, they are a 265 in the front and a 295 in the back. So it has quite a lot of footprint. Even though it's a big car, it has quite a lot of mechanical grip. So look at that, power down out of the corner, no problem. I'm not going to 
incriminate myself by saying how fast I'm going, but it is sufficient to say the least. In these tight canyon roads, I've said it before and I'll say it again, the fastest thing here is probably going to be a Miata because it's so small and lightweight. That said, this big old girl will certainly dance with the best of them and uh, it's offering a pretty impressive performance out here, I do have to say that. So let's talk about what this car has going on under the hood. This car is actually pretty simple. It only has Dynan's S1, their signature one package, which means it's not a fully modified example of what Dynan can do for your car. This particular M550i has the Dynantronics Stage 3 ECU reflash, as well as a high flow mid pipe and Dynan cat back exhaust. That's it for the power mods. That shows that even with such simple upgrades, this motor has a ton of overhead left into it. There's so much room to improve the power output from the stock 460 horsepower, I believe it is. From there, this car also has Dynan's lowering springs as well as Dynan tuned bump stops for the lower ride height. Beyond that, the sway bars and shocks are all factory M550i parts and they're pretty awesome to be quite honest with you. So yes, being an S1, this is not a very highly modified car. It basically has a tune, an exhaust, some springs, and some cool wheels and tires, and that's really it. But I think that does show the level of core competency that the M550i has. Like, it already has massive brakes from the factory. I'll cut to a cutaway shot. They are enormous for a factory effort. Like I said, this thing's riding on factory sway bars and factory shocks, and it's handling the bumpy canyon roads with no problem. You know, usually when you think, oh no, lowering springs on stock shocks, that's usually a no-no, but here it seems to work pretty well. Oh. So what you're actually hearing is not the very expensive dining exhaust setup, which is a little bit disappointing. What you're actually hearing is the active induction note technology that BMW uses. Ooh, that is a nice sound. Don't get me wrong, the dining exhaust is obviously much louder than a stock system, but it's still very quiet and very refined. Everything you're hearing now is with, with the windows up. That's all the induction noise, and that's from BMW's active induction system. So if you're looking to buy some dine-in parts for your m 50 i you might want to second guess the exhaust, the tune, that's definitely worth it. But the exhaust, for me personally, I wish it was a little bit louder. It's one of those things where, <laughs> sorry to get off topic, but this car is actually so quick that if you leave it in manual mode, you'll actually sit on the rev limiter if you're not paying attention like I did just there. But that's okay, the ZF 8-speed transmission, as with all BMWs, is fabulous here. It's quick shifting, really responsive, and generally pretty intuitive, and it kind of knows what the driver wants. BMW has a great way of programming these ZF 8-speed transmissions. Did I mention it's also lightning quick? Like seriously, this thing on up and down shifts is just really good. This motor is such a brute. I've driven a standard BMW M550i and I, you know, I recall it being very quick. I don't remember it being quite this savage. I'm sure that has to do with the ECU reflash that Dining gave this thing. It really wakes it up. I think this is a great place to stop my review of the Dynan M550i before I get arrested for speeding. So let's wrap it up here. This is a great car because it's a very comfortable Q-ship cruiser. It's the daily driver that looks really cool, but at the same time, people might not notice it, which gives you that sort of incognito vibe. But at the same time, it's truly dual purpose because it is brutally, brutally quick and pretty capable on these back roads.